I'm going to go to Memphis, Tennessee. Charles is in Memphis. Uh, thank you for the call, Charles. Go ahead with your question for Father Matthew Spencer. Uh, yes, sir. I just had a question regarding the unforgivable sin. Okay. You know, we see in um, the Bible, it's in Scripture, and then the Church Fathers sort of deviate on, have different interpretations. The Didache, if I'm pronouncing that right, has an interpretation. And I was just wondering, how how can we know and rest assured what did we know what the sin is nowadays? Oh, very, very good yeah, question. So, I'm great. I worry about if I've committed it or not, you know. I see. I see. Well, first of all, I'm gr- glad that you call Charles, Charles, because it gives us the opportunity to ponder and consider what this is. But before I before I do, you know, I just want to harken back to the last hour. We had John Papino here in the studio with Sai, and one of the observations he made, I felt, was was important. You know, that uh, the church fathers recognized that there are many different ways to interpret scripture. And not because scripture itself is not clear, but because God's teachings can come to us in multiform ways. And God, the richness of God's teaching can be expressed in scripture in a beautiful variety of ways. So, for example, sometimes we hear a passage and that passage uh, has resonates with us in one way and speaks, illuminates some part of our heart and our life at that point that we need. And then later in life, we hear that that passage and it gives us a different insight. And that's certainly, of course, the, the Spirit helping us to connect with, with Scripture in that way. And I would say, therefore, that um, this particular Scripture passage that you're referring to, Mark 3, 28, or Matthew 12, 31, also found in Luke, um, uh, generally has an interpretation that I'm going to give to you, but is not definitively defined by the church. The church do- the church doesn't say dogmatically that there is only one interpretation of what Jesus is referring to in in the the one unforgivable sin. right? So generally, the way that we interpret this is that it is a form of blasphemy against the Holy Spirit which also for us could be a failure, uh, a a despair of God's mercy, right? I mean, these are two different ways of saying the same thing, that essentially, um, you know, if I don't believe that I can be forgiven because I think that God's mercy is limited or something like this, then of course I'm not going to be able to be forgiven because to be forgiven requires that I'm open to that particular forgiveness. So this is generally how how, uh, we explain and understand this particular sin. And therefore, Charles, I would say if you are going to God's mercy, then you don't need to worry at all that you are not repenting of this particular sin. Why? Because you are trusting, in fact, in God's mercy and you are wanting God's forgiveness in your life. So I would say to you, Charles, uh, don't let that doubt that seems to sometimes trouble you about maybe there's a sin there that you're not aware of and maybe that won't be forgiven. Um, No, that that is not the way that God works. It's not the way that forgiveness and mercy works. It's not like a game we're trying to play where God is hiding sins from us and not allowing us and maybe going to hold back forgiveness because we didn't think about this. No, he wants us to be forgiven. He wants us to experience his mercy. The only time that he couldn't give us his mercy is if we didn't want it and if we just despaired of that mercy and and pushed it away. So as long as you're open to God's mercy, then you, you certainly wouldn't be uh, offending against uh, some blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Okay, Charles. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this Catholic answer, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our live streams Monday through Friday, 3 to 5 p.m. Pacific, or find the episode after on YouTube, your favorite podcast platform, or our Catholic Answers app.